Hello Aries, welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. Aries, I'm recording this session on the last day of your season. So I want to say happy birthday to all the Aries sun out there. I hope that this year is nourishing and sweet and cozy, uh, if that's your thing, <laughs> because there's a lot happening energetically. And I feel like Aries are impacted a lot more than some other zodiac sign um it's a big time for you a lot is happening and your season is the astrological new year it's like we have this invitation to start fresh but with the retrograde everything feels sticky everything is kind of slow so yeah i wish you the best uh, all of you. We have the Two of Cups. So a gentle approach to something new, something exciting. This doesn't have to be about a relationship. Uh, the Two of Cups is always about you first. It's connected to the mirror energy, the soulmate in the mirror, as I love to say. Um, recognizing something important in yourself and the gentle approach of something new because number two in the tarot is the expansion it's the first sprout of a seed so recognizing something in you is helping you maybe see something differently in another person maybe it's helping you either be of service in a different way or inviting you to be of service in a different way and for some yeah it's the possibility of something that might feel exciting, that might, um, you know, bring up a little bit of curiosity in the collective. And I like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is about. What the Two of Cups is about. Recognizing something important in yourself. We have the Ten of Swords. So... There's this stickiness again in your energy. A lot from the past is it's present in your energy, especially mentally. It's like you don't want to think about the past, but still you get constantly reminded of certain things. And you are in the process of releasing something with the Ten of Swords. And I really feel like there's a message coming through and I don't know why but I'm going to honor it. We can never get enough of what we don't really need. Okay. We can never get enough of what we don't really need. Why am I hearing that? Six of Pentacles. What's coming up here, Aries, and there's just so much, and I'm kind of lost for words. Someone is not really sure about what they want, about what makes sense. There's a void energy. There's, there's this massive void energy. It's like, I don't really know. I don't know exactly what I want for the future. I'm curious to see what doors open and how the universe moves for me. But I don't know what I want. I know I want something fair with the Six of Pentacles. I want to be comfortable. And with the Ten of Swords, I feel like in the past, again, you could not get enough of what you did not really need, which is a big message for you. So you're looking for something fair. But there's someone who feels it's not desperation. It's just like, again, maybe letting go. Someone's manifestation did not happen. And it created a lot of stress. It created a lot of doubt for the future. This is what I'm getting. Again, this void energy is not connected to you per se. But this feeling of, I manifested so many things i was promised so many things and still i don't see those things happening 
and I need to see a little bit of movement, a little bit of action in order to believe that the universe is actually on my side because I'm starting to give up. I'm starting to lose hope, actually. So with the two of cups here, when I said you're recognizing something in yourself, recognizing the truth, and sometimes the truth hurts. I am disappointed with this outcome or I am scared of trusting, of hoping for a better future because I'm so tired of being disappointment, disappointed. Sorry, there was so much disappointment in the past that, yeah, four of pentacles, you're holding back. And there's something that's shifting maybe with, again, this sense of hope. You've been hurt in the past for being hopeful. And it's not one specific situation. There's a, there's a couple. <laughs> there's more than one situation where you trusted, you were hopeful, and something got in the way. You ended up being disappointed. So you built walls around yourself. And when we build walls, it's not always obvious. I think that with this energy, the way I'm feeling and how, again, kind of lost for words I am. I don't know. It was very unclear what happened to you. Knight of Wands and at the heart of this reading, Five of Cups. Yeah, this is what I'm getting here. You're learning to make space for grief at your table. You're learning to make space and sit with the feelings that are very uncomfortable right now. Again, something about the past, away from the past that you're not welcoming in any way. I saw the two of wands for some of you. It could be something that you used to be passionate about, but now there's fear connected to this. There's grief. There's a painful energy here. And with the Knight of Wands, you're moving. And the Knights in the Tarot are very interesting because they work like a hack. They tell you exactly where you should go, how you should channel, process your energy. And here with the fire energy of the Knight of Wands, we are invited to focus on what we're passionate about. And here with this recognizing something in yourself, it's like you're tapping into this old dream of yours, this old passion, maybe something creative, something that helps you channel uncomfortable feelings in a productive way. And you know, Taurus season is right here. It's about to start. We're going to be invited to focus on pleasure and also productivity in a way. No one is asking you to take action. No one is asking you to do this big thing, this big move. This is a slow season. Tourist season is about what we smell, what we can taste, what we can see, hear, feel. It's all about the senses. It's all about pleasure. But here, there's also the aspect of productivity. It's like you're creating something. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're creating something out of an emotion and this recognition of the potential that you have. What are you feeling invited to start, to build? There's something about building, creating, using your hands. Um, for some of you, it really implies like getting messy in a way. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles here, this is like a more comfortable future, a comfortable new beginning. And with the Ten of Swords, it's like you're leaving something that is quite painful. I feel like there's resentment in your energy. I don't know. I don't know if the Two of Cups is an invitation, like a clear invitation for self-forgiveness self-compassion, there's something here. But it's so easy to project the energy outside of yourself, Aries. It's so easy to point fingers and say, well, that's not okay. That person hurt me, this, that. When I say that the Two of Cups is the mirror energy, the soulmate in the mirror, it's time for reflection. 
And what's happening here with the Ace of Pentacles, I, don't, I feel like the universe is trying to prepare you for something. That when you recognize something, this talent, when you feel invited to get messy, to build something, to say yes to yourself in this moment, and to notice the judgment coming up, because you're being shown for a reason. The temperance card, when it came out of the deck, it really felt like spirit was saying, yeah, you're being shown for a reason, Aries. We have the queen of pentacles. What are you building? What are you making out of, again, the mess? This sticky energy. It sparked something new in you because of all the work that you had to do to find yourself again, strength card, Knight of Wands, to reclaim that light, to be able to feel that passion again, that excitement, just really tapping into the fire of Aries. I feel like you're ready to transform something messy into something beautiful. And also it's connected to self-care with the Queen of Pentacles and self-care doesn't always look pretty and cute. Here, someone is getting messy. Someone is doing something, following an impulse. It's calming your nervous system. It's helping you reconnect with your inner child. So I don't know what is it that you do. And with the Five of Swords, there's definitely some judgment. Maybe your partner or someone around you children, neighbor, friends, they're like, well, that's a waste of time. Or maybe you feel like they have this judgment. You're not wasting your time. You're creating something. So right now, it feels like the Aries Collective is like, okay, there's left and there's right. There's good, there's bad. But when you're able to have this 360 vision of all the possibilities here and trying things and tapping back into hope, really, because someone lost hope. They really did. It's like your mood, the way you interact with other people, it, it's different now because of the walls you've been building around yourself and also because again you need to see something happen before believing it but this is not how it works it's not how it works when we choose to believe in something it's a decision that we make and here someone is making a clear decision i'm not losing hope there's the glimpse of this recognition. There's just something boiling and you can feel like there's something about to show up in your life or something is about to shift. It's like intuitively. There's excitement here, but I think that you might be confusing it for like um, anxiety. Like, okay, my body is telling me that I shouldn't be doing this, that I'm wasting my time. But actually, no, it's excitement. You feel the nerves and the, and the nervous system moving and shaking because it's like, yeah, there's something here. Let me have fun with this. This is such an interesting reading. It's like I'm, I'm really scratching my head. Why am I hearing Aries is being shown for a reason? I want to know why. Aries is being shown in advance for a reason. Two cards, Page of Cups and the Lover's card. Everyone is seeing in you this magical energy. You, without knowing it, inspire people around you. Your honesty and... Again, this fire aspect about you that maybe you feel like you lost touch with, it's still there. 
And with the Page of Cups and the Lover's card, there's definitely communication. It feels like after the retrograde, there could be something coming in. Um, friendship, something about friendship. And I don't know what comes after this friendship, but there is something about reconnecting with a friend. I saw the Six of Cups. I saw, you know, the Ace of Pentacles here and something growing and expanding. And I really feel like it's about a friendship. Um, someone who misses you or someone that you miss. Or there's space in your life for this new energy. And again, I felt it earlier. There's something about your inner child. And with the Page of Cups, this is my confirmation. Not taking yourself too seriously when it comes to new beginnings in all aspects of your life. It's not that you're giving up, it's that you're not taking the energy too seriously. And that's a way of protecting yourself and that's okay. You know, your energy is not meant for everyone. And by recognizing that, you're protecting yourself. There's something about the Queen of Pentacles because she's holding the Pentacles and there's the Ace here. And the Queens in the Tarot, they translate their element into feelings, into understanding. And here we're talking about pentacles. So, you know, there's a lot here. Pentacles are like Play-Doh. They can transform into anything. So what is this pentacle for you? It's going to be different for every Aries individually. Is this you working with your body? or working with your values, your finances, work. Again, all the senses that can be connected to the Taurus season. There's something here. Perfume. Why am I hearing perfume? This is one of the weirdest reading I've ever done. And I, I'm... I, I feel like I'm not supposed to understand exactly what it is and why you are shown in advance. Yeah, the sun is here. You are shown in advance by spirit because you're invited to hope. Someone lost hope and this is the void I felt. This is the five of cups I feel at the heart of this reading. The two of cups inviting you to recognize the beauty in yourself. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is saying the moment you're able to show yourself a little bit more compassion, everything's going to change. Everything around you is finally going to shift. But you've built walls around yourself, Aries. Pushing away possibilities. Not even giving yourself the opportunity to dream, to hope about something because you're like, no, it's just not going to happen. And that's not your type. It feels like a, a little bit of like a victim type mentality. And that is not Aries in any way, shape or form. So I don't know who you're dealing with or if it's like something you're recognizing in you. You know, this truth that's very uncomfortable. Like, okay, I've been saying things and maybe feeling like I'm a victim in a situation, but I'm not. I'm still here. I survived this. I've been growing. I've been evolving. And now it's time that I show myself more compassion. And forgiving yourself for whatever. And I know this is something that can trigger a lot of stuff, a lot of uncomfortable stuff when I say, you know, forgiving yourself. There's two types of people. There are the people that are going to be very offended because they're like, I didn't do anything. It's all this other person. Everyone hurt me and I just try to live my life. And, you know, just that reaction, this reactivity, it, it shines a light on something important. And there's the other group that is like, yeah, I need to forgive myself. Because I obviously made some mistakes in the past. Sometimes those mistakes were about trusting people that ended up hurting you. I think that not only you're working on reparenting yourself. Because the inner child energy is very present. 
it's not just the inner child, it's this version of you from five years ago, maybe from 10 years ago. And holding them in a way, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is here. She's such a maternal figure in a way, a caretaker. And now again, that you have this 360 vision, you're able to see things for what they are. It's not just that people are good or bad. And I think I've said that in, in a reading yesterday, but when we choose to forgive someone, if the moment they do one mistake, we're ready to step out, we're ready to blame them again. This is not forgiveness. And it's the same thing for you. When we forgive ourselves truly, we're not supposed to punish, um, condemn ourselves because we're doing one other mistake after. So there's something here about that. It's like someone feels like they took 10 steps back because of one little mistake or maybe one huge mistake. So how can you open your perspective here? How can you feel into this? With the Five of Cups, there's a lot of this reading that's an invitation to feel. With the Four of Pentacles, body wisdom, where in my body am I feeling this contraction? Where in my body am I feeling this fear? Where is it uncomfortable for me? And maybe work with the chakras, with the Four of Pentacles. I love to connect with the chakras. Like, okay, I feel this fear in my belly. I fear it in my, I feel it in my throat. So what does it mean? And doing some research on that. And it feels like there could be some words or some soul medicine that really helps you because the work you're doing is internal you are again being shown in advance for a reason something is about to change for you there's the two of cups there's the lover's card there's the ace of pentacles something will grow and expand and it could be a relationship especially for the ones out there who are like i'm never going to trust anyone again i'm not looking for a friend i'm not looking for a partner i don't care about love i feel it i feel the resistance and the push every time i do an aries an aries reading always look Beyond that, where is the resistance when it comes to hope, when it comes to the possibilities of love and your future? An exciting new beginning. Where is the resistance? Where are you feeling it in your body? Because I feel like this is such a good indication of what needs to be healed, what needs to be released and addressed. We have the hermit's lantern. You will be able to perform any task that lies ahead with ease. Trust, experience, and succeed. So whatever you put your mind into, I feel like there's going to be a success here, a personal victory, a feeling of accomplishment. And the hermit's lantern is about the present moment. What in the present moment is coming up? What are the limitations? What are the blockages? How can you work with, again, the walls that you've built around yourself? Rejecting something. Rejecting the idea that, yeah, there could be new love, new relationship, a new job, infinite possibilities. There's so many options I feel that could be opening, especially after the releasing of the Ten of Swords and the opening of the Ace of Pentacles. Temperance is here. This is a very lucky energy. Luck is on your side. But the walls and the nervous system, the ego is saying, hell no, I don't even want to hope. It's too painful. So this is the work that you're doing right now. You are older, wiser than ever. And again, the possibilities are infinite. So how can you let the walls come down? 
Because again, Spirit says you're being shown in advance for a reason. Your life is about to change. Something new is happening. And I feel like this could be connected to a manifestation or a wish that you made years ago. It's coming in. So I'm sending love Aries. I know that this was a very weird reading, but I, as always, I'm honoring what comes through. If there's one person who connects with the message, my job is done. So I'm sending so much love. Again, happy birthday to all the Aries sons out there. Thank you so much for your receptivity and your love. And I'll talk to you guys very soon.